I, the weather finally broke here in Michigan and I was able to get my solar array up. The bottom row are 375 watt panels and the top row are 265 watt panels. The bottom row is actually five and five in parallel and the top are in series. I couldn't do the bottom in series because that would have been more than the inverter would handle. But I'll show you, I know there's a gazillion videos out there on how people built their arrays, but I'll show you how I did mine just in case you just in case you're interested and are building one of your own. So I did all uh, lumber construction here. I have four by fours as posts and I notched the posts. So the beams sit on the posts as opposed to lagging them in. And then I could just use some deck screws, which would be plenty of uh, strength there. And I also did a little bird's mouth on here. So the so the uh, weight is actually on the on the two by four there. Same deal up top. If you can see it and on the back, we have all of our ground lugs running across all the way to the end. The uh, mounting system I got, I bought off of um, Amazon. I originally intended on putting it on top of the house, but it didn't quite face enough south, so I had to build this array here. Not much to it. Pretty simple. I definitely overbuild the joists. Probably could have done half of half of the amount of joists as I uh, have in here, but more strength is better, I guess. And we get a lot of winds here off the Lake Michigan, so um, not afraid of overbuilding there. Okay, well, any questions? Let me know. Try and answer as best I can. We'll go in and look at the uh, inverters again here in a second and see how uh, things are working out and we're back inside with the grow watt so a few things I've learned over the past week of uh, trying to run on solar on my system so far is well I've got an electric dryer an electric water heater and these four batteries did just fine with the water heater as long as it was sunny and as you saw outside it's really overcast and rainy today and I'm getting almost no ability to charge my batteries. We're getting voltage, as you can see here. Not much, but we're getting some. But we're getting almost no amperage. Yeah, like one amp there. you know, 0.4 amps right there. So it's just not enough to charge batteries here on a, on a cloudy day, but on a sunny day, man, no problem at all. Let's charge those things hundred percent. No issues with, uh, my semi small array there, uh, 20 total panels. So I also realized that, uh, the water heater, and the well pump alone run just fine. But if I was to try and run the gas or the electric dryer and then the water heater kicked on, that it would push this right to the absolute maximum of what it was capable of doing. So I have to think uh, about what I'm going to do there uh, about changing some things, maybe, uh, maybe a gas dryer or propane dryer since we have propane here. But I'm trying to rely, not trying to rely on uh, other utilities. I was trying to take care of this myself. In the event of emergency, then I don't have to worry about someone else providing me with any uh, propane or electricity. Yeah, one other thing I noticed also. So the, the, these four batteries are pretty new. They've only cycled maybe three or four times. And the top batteries 
seem to always be the lowest discharge and by about 8% between the top and the bottom. So I talked to Signature Solar about that and they said, you know, it could take two months for the batteries to actually equalize out and work together. So that was kind of interesting. Because the bottom batteries, yeah, like 8%, I thought that's 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 a big difference there. All right, everything seems to be going fine. We're not running on the house on solar right now because of the weather, but hopefully we'll get back to that and less of a electric bill. Okay, well, any questions, let me know. See you on the next one. Well, before I go, there's one more thing I thought I might want to show you. What I did here is I made a little, sorry about the shadows, little procedure list for uh, my wife in case I wasn't around on turning things on and more importantly, turning things off and back to grid power. So that might be an interesting thing someone might want to consider doing just for those who aren't really fluent in what's going on in electricity. So it's, I spelled it out step by step, made it really easy so anyone could walk in here and boot this thing up or turn it off and go back to grid power. All right, talk to you later.